Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on the Beef Play channel and today guys I'm going to be showing you how to build a water fountain inside of islands. If you guys do enjoy this video and if you want to see more like this be sure to hit that like button, subscribe and leave a comment down below. We are hosting a Robux giveaway, it ends tomorrow so make sure you do sign into that giveaway, it ends on the 12th of the 5th so if you're watching this video at a later date you might be out of luck so make sure you do hit that subscribe button that is one of the steps and visit the first link down in the description. That being said, let's get right into it. So what you'll need is stone bricks, stone slabs, stairs and also stone. It's entirely up to you what blocks you want to use. I'm purely using these three blocks here. However, you can use sandstone, you can use bricks. Personally, I think the marble will look pretty good with it with a little bit of slate around the sides. So what I'm going to be doing after this video, I will be replacing this right here with one of these with a chosen block. I'm actually going to be putting one of these on my base. And it is optional to have sea lanterns if you want, if you want to brighten it up a little to give it that more of a water kind of look, to give it brightness during night. So that being said, let's destroy this and get started. While destroying this, you could technically do this as well if you wanted to. You could kind of like make it in half if you want to. I kind of like the full design of it, not like this. However, all you have to do is just destroy the other half. So we've got everything ready to go. So what you need to do, you need to start off doing a free. So for example, you need to go free. Okay, and then it's one free one free one free and that indicates the circle okay so let me just do it over here just to repeat so one two three and then put one like that and then go out by three and then one in out by three one in and then out by three and then one in that gives you a nice kind of circle kind of shape for a fountain size if you wanted to you could expand it out even further but in this case i'll be doing a three by one three by one and so on okay so all you're doing is putting three in a row and then like that and then you just repeat that process on either side and you just keep going around once you have that like this what you want to do if you it's optional at this point you could put sea lanterns on each corner like this in the side that's what i did to just brighten up a little bit more just to give the water a bit of glare i don't think it works through water however it's nice just having it there anyway if you're looking at it from above so the next thing you want to do is add a stone brick okay you just want to go around in three so it's three by three basically a square all right so that is all you're doing let me just put one in the center just so you can see how this looks so look there should be a free gap on either side where you put the aqua or your chosen block on the sides like this so there's three and then in the center it should be a square so one two three one two one two three basically three on each side it should be and then one in the middle so now what you want to do you want to bring this up by five after you put one of these bricks in the middle so you want to stack on so this is six so what i'll do i'll remove that one quick so one two three four five six so we are going to be going a little bit higher than this i think we might go up to seven but right now i think this will do grab your chosen stair and place it on on every corner like so okay now as you can see this is kind of starting it off from the bottom and kind of given that water fountain kind of feel this is where the water will go at the end when it falls down you want to put some upside down stairs along the bottom if you wanted to you can change the block it's entirely up to you and then in the center here what you can do you can add a sea lantern just to brighten it up from that first level okay now you've got up to this point what you want to do you just want to make sure that you actually put it on either side i think that might have been kind of useful and then add a stone brick around the corners as obviously we do not have any corner pieces for the stairs yet so we do have to do something like that to kind of expand it around so now it looks a bit more like a platform if you wanted to you could add like a trophy on it but in this tutorial we're not going to be showing that you need to raise it by one otherwise the water will go over so you need to raise it and 
go over by one. Make sure everything is facing the same direction. I think in the most recent update, they've actually sorted that out. However, you want to make sure everything's facing in the same direction. Obviously, this middle part, we can come back and sort that out at a later date. However, I just want to get the tutorial out so you guys know how to build it inside of violence. As water doesn't work the same as in like Minecraft and other similar games like this. So this is a really, really good tutorial on how water can work and how to actually make a nice water fountain. You want to put four temporary blocks in the center right here and go up by one. So now it should look like this. So on the slabs, you put one block on it and then you want to extend that out by with stairs like so around the blocks here. And then after you do this, you want to remove this block here, 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 and here. So this is where the water will travel through. And then you want to go up by two blocks. So this would be here. So it would just be above a two a two block high character. And you just want to go around it and place a stone block, a stone block above it and go up by one. What you want to do, you want to place another stone brick stair above that and just go round so it almost expands it out so it looks a bit more like a fountain and obviously gain in its kind of shape. If you wanted to, you could technically leave that part out. However, I recommend doing everything that I'm showing just to give it that full kind of look to it. Look, if we place a water bucket on the top now, as you can see, it will cover the whole lot. So this is an often case of something that would happen with the new water added. It doesn't work the same like other games. So what you have to do, you have to slightly adapt it just so it works perfectly. But what you will need to do, you have to remove this source first. So let me show you how to get the water structured in the place you want it to go. So as you can see, the water travels over these blocks here. So there's a couple of things that you will need to do to sort this out. The first thing I like to do is replace this block with a sea lantern. So this just brightens it up a little bit and you can do the exact same here if you want to, it is optional. But now we've got that sorted, you want to add a slab on either corner of this side. So what this will do, this will hold the water coming in. But there is a couple of things that you'll need to do to make this work properly. So if we put a slab here, 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 and here, this will hold the water from coming down past this point. So like if we put this here now, what it will do, it will just travel around there and it will go down here. But the thing is because of some sort of weird mechanic with the water, we're unable to move it down. So this is where you have to place blocks manually. So for example, we're going to place one in that corner, one in this corner, one in this corner here and one in this corner here. So as you can see, we've got water coming down. It looks really, really nice from down there, but it looks like we're missing something, all right? This water part isn't going down. So we have to place these manually right here just to give it that impression that it's moving down. So now that's done, that is basically how to build a water fountain inside of islands. What I'm going to do, I'm actually going to change something quick because I'm not a fan of this block right here. So I might change this with a normal brick. However, technically this lights it up a little bit. So I might keep it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. However, in this case, I'm just going to leave it. But if we look around it, I mean, it looks really nice. What you could do, you can add some decorations. So for example, you could add some bushes and maybe some chairs as well. You could add some benches around the corner here, around the sides, and then add plants on either corner. So look, we could technically put some of these hedge plants right here. So one, two, three, four, and then five and six, and then you will need another two to fill it up. And then we could add like some sort of fences along the side, maybe, or I, I'm not really sure. I think we've done a lot here anyway, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna add that, but you could add some sort of outer design with fences or whatever the case you want to do. You could technically do that. And then just finish it off putting some stones randomly around the corner here, just to finish it off from the design of the area. Obviously you don't have to add stones. This is just purely test subject build, let's call it, where 
actually display it. But overall, I think that fits really, really well. I would probably change mine to either slate or marble just to keep it into the theme. However, that looks really, really nice for an islands kind of thing. And obviously, we had to kind of manipulate the water to be able to actually travel within it. And instead of it just going full over the whole lot. So we had to add those slabs on the top. So if you didn't miss anything, make sure you go back through the video and leave a like. If you did enjoy, and if you want to see more like this, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Thanks ever so much for watching. If you've got any questions, leave it down below. That being said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.